Hi, my name is Clint Holly from Well Made Music, and today we have something really exciting to talk about. Uh, earlier this year, we procured our fourth uh, cutting lathe, our fourth Neumann cutting system, and we're really excited to start getting some masters cut and out into the world from this machine. Uh, we call this machine number four, and it's a mid 60s Neumann VMS 66 machine. It has a really interesting provenance, so I'll point a few things out about the machine and tell you a little bit about its history. Um, as you can see, um, we have a lot of we have two Neumann VMS 70 systems in service right now, and you can see a lot of similarities between that those machines and this machine here. Um, has all the basic same casting, same platter. Uh, the buttons on the pitch box are all very similar. Uh, you can see that this machine has a style that's a little bit different than the VMS 70s. In the 70s, they kind of squared off this platform, this pedestal, uh, made it a little bit more uh, industrial, modern looking. Uh, this still kind of has some Art Deco influence to it with these beautiful body panels and the curves on it. Um, I, I hate to say it about a machine, but it's kind of sexy in a way, and we've really kind of really gotten attached to this machine pretty quickly. Um, it performs really well, and it sounds uh, amazing. It, it's hooked up to a, uh, a BG74B cutting rack, which was the last iteration of Neumann's cutting racks in the late 1970s and the early 80s. This was the rack that they used on VMS 80 uh, cutting lathes, so uh, a great amp that's been uh, recently recapped and restored. Uh, right before we got it. Um, the machine uh, was owned uh, originally, we think, by Sterling Sound in New York City. That's the legend behind this machine. Uh, although I have a few people uh, that kind of know and, and kind of have pointed us in that direction. Uh, in 1968, I believe, uh, Sterling bought two VMS-66 with, with the newly released SX-68 cutter head. And that's what kind of jump-started the idea of mastering houses as independent from record companies. People like Bob Ludwig cut on these machines, uh, the, especially a VMS-66 with an SX-68 cutter head. Albums like the famous Bob Ludwig uh, Led Zeppelin II cut were cut on machines like this, if not possibly this machine itself. Um, some folks in New York City um, who acquired this lathe, my mentor Al Grundy had this in his shop. Uh, about 20 years ago, and it was sold to a, a gentleman in Virginia, in a place called Mineral, Virginia, and he had it for, for quite a while, and then it went to a cutting house in Asheville, North Carolina, called American Vinyl Company, and they started to do a ground-up restoration on the machine, and they got about 90% of the way done before he put it up for sale, and we bought it. Uh, so a lot of the stuff on this machine is fresh. It's a lot. A lot of it's been recapped. The rack sounds amazing. Uh, when we got it, it had just a few things that needed to be done. You can see the feet on the bottom that we put on there uh, to raise it up a little bit and, and keep it stable. There were no feet on it when we got it. The plexiglass on the, uh, the pitch meter here was gone when we got it. Uh, the calibration wasn't quite right the way the um, suspension box was put on uh, front to back and uh, we recalibrated the entire head and rack system because the rack does have to be calibrated to each head that you put on it. So the head was rebuilt by a guy named Roberto in uh, Italy. He's kind of like the world expert on rebuilding Neumann cutter heads and it sounds amazing. Uh, we've submitted some samples to well-known mastering engineers for their critical listening and the reports have been uh, very, very good. And this machine is just something that we're excited to add to the stable here at Well Made Music. A question that I did get recently was, why do you own so many lathes? And there's several reasons for that. Um, the lathes uh, that we have currently, they work hard and they currently have uh, over a decade of, of use on them. And so it's almost time for them to be freshened up a little bit, some new bearings, some new uh, some new parts and stuff like that. So we're gonna systematically get these lathes. Um, the AM32 that we bought from Cleveland last year is almost complete. And we should see that hopefully here at Well Made Music by the end of the year. And that'll allow us to pull our VMS 70s out of service and do the work to keep them world-class machines. Uh, secondly, we like lathes. Um, some people go through midlife crisis and buy hot rods and stuff like that. Personally, I love these machines. I love the style. I love the 
industrial brilliance of them and I love the craft of disc cutting. So adding a machine like this to the well-made music stable makes a whole lot of sense.